I've got a battery, some neodymium magnets, and this lovely coil of uninsulated copper wire. And this is probably the simplest electric motor you can make. It never fails to fascinate my students. In fact, one of them liked it so much, he made one for his mum for Mother's Day. Let's take a closer look at what's going on. What I've got is a complete circuit. The current flows out of the battery, through the coil, and back into the battery, through the magnets, which are metallic. If we look at what's going on down here, we can see that the current is flowing horizontally into the battery. The magnetic field from the magnets at this point is vertical. So we've got a current crossing a magnetic field. And we know that from Fleming's left-hand rule, that under these conditions, the wire will experience a sideways force. And it's this force that makes the whole thing rotate. Now you can do some lovely bits of physics with this simple equipment. It's quite a fiddly thing to set up. So your students need to think about things like friction and balance. Once they've got the motors working, you can ask them to make modifications to improve the motor. In fact, you can challenge them to make the best motor and you can leave it to them to define what they mean by best.